What's up, guys? It's Elliot here. Welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna yo, be talking yo, about. Yo, 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 yo! What's up, guys? It's Elliot here. Welcome to. <laughs> Who is this guy? Who is this guy? <laughs> no, but seriously, today we are filming a Q and A with Nick Che, and you guys sent in questions through Instagram. If you don't know Nick, he's a sophomore at Princeton University. I actually grew up in Princeton, so we know some of the same restaurants. Uh, <clears throat> okay, um, but actually, he is majoring in econ, and yeah, you have anything else to add? Um, I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Uh, Nick and I are actually in New York for an event. I have probably posted a vlog about this by now, so if you want to check it out, feel free. And yeah, let's just jump into it. All right, starting off with the most common question we get, how did you guys meet? Like he mentioned, he grew up in around Princeton, and so we had a mutual friend who was actually my roommate from last year. Shout out to Avi, the boy. Um, and he kind of put us in contact, said that there was another photographer, and so we had messaged through DM on Instagram over the past like few months. In freshman year, we started messaging on Instagram, um, and we actually met up in New York to shoot. Fun fact, the profile picture on his channel is actually taken by me. And true, our true. And especially now, like within the YouTube community, it isn't really that hard to like meet new people. No, that's a lie. It is, it, <laughs> especially especially within our kind of like YouTube community, that it is pretty niche that like everyone does kind of either have known each, of each other or will get to know each other pretty well. People think it's so crazy that we're friends. Someone asked, how did you balance a social life with school? Someone once told me like, you can choose between friends, grades, and sleep in college. Honestly, for me, it's like I can choose between friends, grades, sleep, and like five other things, and I can choose like six things out of the eight or ten that, that exist on that list. But it comes down to figuring out what your priorities are, and if social life is a priority for you, then make sure that you're paying attention to it. It's also about time management, right? How do you balance your academic work with your extracurricular load, or going out with your friends, or making time to relax for yourself? And honestly, like as college students, especially at the schools that we're at, it is very competitive, it is a lot of work, but that doesn't mean that we're not you know, diligent with our own time and get all of our homework done so that we have the energy and the time to focus on our other stuff, which is like creating YouTube videos. How tall are you? I am 5'8". I am 5'10". Any fun travel plans this year? I'm actually going to Africa this summer for documentary filmmaking course. So, so I'm awesome. super excited about that. Um, I'm headed to Boston next week and then Vancouver the week after. And then summer, I'll probably be in San Francisco or New York. What's your opinion on being a small influencer? I want the tea. It, it's honestly great. And to do the things that we're passionate about and have an audience who genuinely supports us and appreciates the content that we put out, it's literally the best feeling ever. Like yesterday, we had our first meetup and that was super sick. Seeing like 20 people come out and just um, say hi and see you guys in person is like the best feeling ever because it, it's rare that we get to see the people behind the screen. And, and, it, and same for you guys as well to see the people behind the camera. So. That's honestly like the most humbling experience and yeah. Guys, if I catch this, I don't know. Oh! <laughs> Easy. L. Bro, that's some, that's rookie. That's rookie All right, strawberry. is this turning into a, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a strawberry. Atta boy. One. Two. All right. All right. Mm. Wait, guys, I'm out of berries. <laughs> <laughs> I get this question a lot. It's how to not be scared of vlogging in public. And someone asked us this yesterday at our meetup, but it comes down to practice. So I'm actually terrible with this. And what I do is I started off taking videos on my phone, uploading Instagram stories. I used the front camera and I was just like trying to post videos of me talking to an actual camera on my phone. And that helped me so much because this is way less intimidating than carrying around a huge camera. And if you want to get better at something like vlogging in public, then you just have to practice. So I asked what's the best thing about college so far? This is a very cliche answer and I wish I had something else, but it probably is the independence to do what you want and be flexible with your schedule and, and manage your own time, especially coming from high school where you, you have such a routine, you have parents telling you what to do every single day. Like in college, it's literally up to you. I definitely agree. If I didn't have the freedom to do what I wanted, I wouldn't be making YouTube videos. It's really awesome because if you look at college students, Everyone has the same amount of time in the day, and it's really interesting to see how people are using their time. And some people choose to sleep, some people choose to play video games or just hang out, go to parties. Um, and I'm not saying you shouldn't do any of those things, but I'm just saying you have plenty of time to, to pursue some of the things that you're passionate about. And so college is an amazing opportunity to really 
cash in on that stuff and, and go for the go for your passions. And I think a lot of people will argue that like there's not enough time in the day. And that might be the case if you're trying to do pre-med or whatever. But in all honesty, if you are diligent with your time management, there are plenty of hours in the day. There are like more than enough hours in the day to not only get your work done, but also study and balance your extracurriculars and do the things that you're passionate about. And obviously that's not something you're gonna find right away. Both of us are trying to maximize the time that we have every single day because you know life is short, you know, and college is only about two and a half years left, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it, it is. I can't even imagine that. So, someone asked any advice for seniors on how to survive senior itis. To be honest, I think senior year of high school is probably the best time of high school in general, just because you have so much more freedom and more things to do. And after you submit all your college applications, like most of you guys are right now, you're just straight chilling. Like you should be enjoying the time that you have left with your friends and your family because you are eventually going to college, and it, it does suck being away from them. So cherish the moments you have because once you get older, you you realize that like, damn, even though high school seemed like it sucked, like. I, I still made the most of it, and that's really what matters. Actually, my senior year, I ended up getting some of the best grades I've ever gotten because I started to adapt the mentality of being the best version of myself, and I really wanted to prove to myself that I could get good grades because my high school grades were not the best, but it was definitely kind of like a personal project. I was like, okay, I want to prove to myself that I can get certain grades. So that was my motivation in terms of school. And obviously I was doing other things outside of school, but that stuff came natural because it was more something that I was passionate about. Let us know if you guys have any more places you guys want us to do meetups. Hopefully we can, you know, plan some more collabs in the future. Collabs. <laughs> Ellie doesn't like the way I say collabs. <laughs> Someone asked, what are some of the specific goals you want to achieve in 2019? You want to start off? Obviously, growing the YouTube channel for both of us, I think that's kind of our top priority, obviously aside from academics. And to get to the point where it's sustainable, but I can also focus on getting my degree at the same time. Um, right now, it's obviously a lot of balancing and time management, like I, like we said, and figuring out how to balance your classes and the homework that you need to do. But at the same time, like run a successful YouTube channel. So, um, I mean, that, that's just a general goal, really. You have some tangible goals, such as hitting certain numbers on YouTube or reaching certain income levels. But I do have plenty of like intangible goals too. For example, like reading every day or going to the gym. And these are like lifestyle goals that I think are really important because that's your day to day and that kind of shapes your entire life. So I think, you know, having those long-term goals are good, but also setting some daily goals for you to achieve each and every single day is definitely a good thing to do. Anyways, we are running a little bit late right now, so we might have to wrap up the Q&A. Guys, I also did a video with Nick on his channel, so his channel will be the first link in the description. Go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.